Hey guys, GP Mushrooms. Um, today I want to share with you how to get a second flush of mushrooms. Like um, normally, it'll just grow on its own, but then sometimes you get that one block that's just a little too stubborn. Uh, like this block I've had on my shelf, but it was really warm, the place I put it, so it dried out the substrate real bad, where the mushrooms fruited from the first time. And as you can see, but all I did was I ripped that, that substrate off right here where the mushrooms did fruit and I did harvest my mushrooms. Uh, of course, you know, when you made your block, there's other holes in here, but that's fine. The two places that my mushrooms fruited from, all I did was just rip the, the substrate right off there and you know, just tear off that, tore off that top layer to expose the inside layer because that top layer was really dry. It was so dry that it was like practically concrete. Now that I ripped my substrate off here, you know, this little surface, uh, what you can do is just go ahead and run it under some water in your sink for a little bit, you know, just for, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you know, just kind of get saturated. And the water will get behind the plastic. That's okay. That's fine. You know, it never hurts to kind of rehydrate your block anyways. About the third flush is about the time you want to start rehydrating your blocks anyways. But uh, me and myself, of course, I ripped it, and I, I'm not going to do the sink, and I'm not going to run underneath the sink. I'm just going, like I said, with my box tech, you know, if you haven't seen that, make sure you check the description or find my videos with my box tech. I'm just going to spray the heck out of it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to spray the heck out of it for the next three days inside my box, and then it's going to begin, to, uh, <clears throat> then it's going to begin to fruit again. Now, it's nothing too, too dramatic. Um, you'll get... Definitely you'll get two flushes. Uh, the third flush is going to start getting smaller. Fourth flush will get smaller. Uh, once it, the block starts feeling really light, you know, uh, real dehydrated, because, you know, this block still has pretty decent weight to it, so I know there's a good moisture content in here still. But, you know, once it does get dry, you can, like, submerge the whole block in water and just hold it under the water until, uh, you know, it'll start bubbling. And then once the bubbles stop, and then it's rehydrated again. And then you'll squeeze off, you know, another third flush, fourth flush, fifth flush, you know, by doing that technique. Until, you know, until it just pretty much run dry, it runs dry. But that's how you get your second flush, at least with the stubborn block. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's some kind of surface contamination or uh, maybe uh, some sort of contamination. But it's not going to affect my mushrooms any. You know, it's not going... As long as your mushrooms grow and there's not, it's not covered in contamination like molds or anything like that, you're fine. Uh, but, alright, mush on guys. I wish you luck.